Hi, this is Dusty. Here I am in my rug cleaning studio at Lover Rug in Victoria, BC, and I want to show you our newest one. Now, this is actually still our prototype, but virtually finished one. You see it has a yellow handle on here? That's being replaced now with an actual steel handle because you need that handle to operate this properly. It's all stainless steel except for the brass valve on the end. And as you can see, this is quite unique. It has a square tube. You see that, that square on the bottom? See, there is the bottom of it itself. You can see the slit there. It's where the water comes out. And you can see it's kind of a, an S wand. See, the, see how it goes like this? It's, it's what we call an S wand. <clears throat> this has five distinctive purposes. Right now, we're calling this the five-way tool. Primarily, it's a rinsing wand, but there's five, other, five, there's five features um, all together, including flooding. So number one, you hook up your water to this end. We recommend you have plenty of water, a good uh, uh, three-quarter inch or better uh, hose is going to work best to give you the best flow rate. And you can just push it back and forth across a dry rug and you can quickly flood it. Number two, it's for rinsing the rug. We have discovered that this is better than the other wand we make, the one with the round end on it. The round end meaning it's round here with a slit. This is a square. And the reason for it, well, it makes it flat underneath here. And when the water is squeezing out, it actually will accelerate underneath the tool. When this is kept flat, it accelerates and pulls the um, dissolved soils and well, urine, etc., away from the rug much better than the rounded off tool. Uh, <clears throat> the third thing it does, well, it's actually, it actually acts as a squeegee. And when you heel down on it, meaning change the angle, can you see that? Watch what happens. You see? We're actually squeegeeing the rug right now. Now, admittedly, this may not be quite as good as a standalone squeegee, but it's sure nice. When you're rinsing a rug and you realize, you, go, you know what, this rug needs a little bit more work, instead of grabbing another tool, you just turn off the valve here, turning off the water, and now you can squeegee. You can squeegee the actual soils out of that rug, and then add more water when you want to. <clears throat> Fourthly, it's a tremendous air nozzle. When you hook it up to either an air compressor or the new vacuum pump that we have, you can use it for air dust in a rug. Is it as good as using a rug badger? No. It's not going to get rid of the gritty dirt like a rug badger will, but it sure does finish off a rug nicely. We recommend badgering your rugs on the backside first, and then finish off with the air dusting. So when you hook it up to the air pump, and by the way, our air pumps cost less than $750. You hook it up to here, now you're air dusting a rug. And there's one last thing this tool will do for you. It acts as a jacuzzi rug washing tool. What is that, you ask? Well, again, hooked up to the air, you're going to blow air through the tool, and when the rug is submerged in water, it will actually blow the soil out of a rug while it's still submerged. You know, you're not going to want to do that to every rug, but when a rug is really delicate, if the rug's, say, a tufted rug, and you shouldn't be using any weight or any scrubbers on that rug, um, or the rug is... Uh, or fragile, and you still need to give it a proper rinse, you need to get that urine out of a rug, or whatever it is, when you blow the water into that rug while well, it's submerged, it's amazing how nice a, a job it'll do without damaging the rug. So there you go. This is our new all stainless steel <clears throat> five-way rug washing tool, and um, I think you're going to love it. Thank you very much.